Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Last video for the night. This is going to be the Hunger Games movies ranked from worst to best. There are five of them. I actually just watched the uh, the uh, Ballad of Songs and Snakes today. Um, and uh, yeah, won't spoil how I felt about it, but uh, I'd recommend go watching my review. If you haven't already, I it's, it was a lot longer than most of my reviews. So that's how you could tell I was passionate about it. And well, now I just spoiled it, but yeah. So, last place, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. I actively despise this movie. Literally, the only thing I like about it is that uh, Penguin Zero is in it. Moist Critical, Charlie, whatever you want to call him. He's not really in it, but that's like the joke. Um, yeah, no, this movie's bad. It's uh, lifeless, gray, just washed out, pointless, has no... Well, I mean, it's not pointless, but... It's just executed poorly. It's uh, I'm not invested. A lot of the characters be are unlikable, like the side characters, like District 13. I kind of hate them. So I'm low-key kind of rooting for the capital to win and District 13 to lose. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, probably her weakest performance in her entire career. She's just kind of phoning it in, just not really mentally present. Um, I believe Peta and Gail are both sidelined don't have lots to do and this film also has the awful filming crew where they're gonna sh they're gonna shoot propas propos i hate that word every time they say propas i'm like please stop please be quiet so really dislike this one really boring hard to sit through next up we have the hunger games mockingjay part two at a five out of ten this one i'm mixed on i don't hate it nearly as much as part one it is a somewhat satisfying ending it uh, ends the love triangle finally um so it gives you it gives you an ending that's really all i can say about it but it's still a hunger games movie without a hunger game um so it's not going to be that fun equally gray washed out lifeless bad action bad cgi uh and also kills off uh we could talk spoilers this is this is a movie from 2015 kills off finnick in one of the most underwhelming unexpected ways ever so can't forgive it for that one then number three, we have The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This is the fifth movie. I gave it an 8 out of 10 today. I really liked it, but it is fundamentally flawed for sure. Um, so if you want to be a hater of this film, which I'm not, but if you want to, there are quite a few things to latch on to. First of all, it is a kind of unnecessary prequel that is humanizing an evil character that we already know has to turn evil by the end of the film. Uh, yes, it has a Hunger Game, which is very nice, but it is the worst Hunger Game in the series. Not that there's that many to begin with, but of the three Hunger Games, there this is the worst one because it's low, but it's intentionally low budget, low scaled, low effort because the capital they don't have the funding to do a proper Hunger Game, nor do they have the technology and sci-fi stuff that the other movies do. So it's a very much a uh, even though it came out this year, it is the most prehistoric Hunger Games film. It's happening forever ago, but I really like everything else. Other than what I just talked about, everything else really works for me. The cast, the dialogue, the love interest is way better here than it is with the Katniss love triangle. Um, yes, it's humanizing an evil character, but it's doing it very well. And um, in a very gradual, natural, believable way, I think it's very high quality i also think it's going above and beyond this is a two and a half hour prequel so it's arguably it could have been like an hour and a half cash grab but it's not it's two and a half hours and it really flushes out and um it's it's self-contained it's not baiting for more sequels to try and make more money it's just a very solid well-executed standalone prequel uh it does not try to nostalgia bait too much i think they reference katniss twice in the entire two and a half hours so yeah it's it's very much a self-contained enjoyable watch um and i like the characters a lot all of them even even the bad guys like the game maker is actually really awesome in this uh played by viola davis is really good in this as well so i i do defend this film i think it's pretty good uh personally next up we have uh the Hunger Games Catching Fire at a 10 out of 10. Yes, most people will put this one in number one, and I agree it's really good, but this one to me is, uh, 
I've never been able to get over the fact that this is the beginning of the end. Basically, the actual Hunger Game itself is really good. It's way higher quality and visually and everything than the previous movie. But not only does the Hunger Game get cut prematurely, it leads into Mockingjay Part 1. So this one has Mockingjay Part 1 elements in it towards the end in particular. And that's a huge red flag for me. But otherwise, the movie's very good. Cast is excellent. Woody Harrelson, awesome. The whole marriage thing is really, really good. Uh, kind of saves the tor- the terrible love triangle just a little bit with that marriage stuff. And uh, yeah, it is a great film, but I just can't get over that ending. But I still give it a 10 out of 10, even, even for that ending. And number one is the original Hunger Games, in my opinion. The only negative of this film is the shaky cam. But it's not that bad. In fact, I actually kind of like the shaky cam uh, because it's, it's extra anxiety-inducing. Like, if I was to just watch... Like, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but the music and the way they shoot the initial... Um, after the countdown and they have to run to the cornucopia, that part is, like, bone-chilling. And I don't think it would have been as effective if there wasn't... Or if there was a more stable camera. Um, I could be wrong. But, yeah, the shaky cam is the one bad thing. But otherwise, I think the film's flawless love the universe, love the sci-fi um, sort of, um, what's that word? Dystopian. This is a very dystopian sci-fi movie, and it's very well written and very cool. And it also has, in my opinion, the best Hunger Game itself, because this Hunger Game actually finishes, and the movie itself is actually about the Hunger Game. Even Ballad of Songbirds, which I really like, the movie's not actually really about the Hunger Game. It's more about a character study and origin story for President Snow. And there just happens to be a Hunger Game in it. But this is the Hunger Games, and it's focused on the game itself and developing the relationship between the tributes and all that. So, yeah, I I like the original a lot, obviously. So 10 out of 10, you got to see this one. So I would recommend watching the top three in this list, the bottom two. No. If anything, Mockingjay Part 2, you can just go get a uh, bullet point list of the big events that happen if you want to learn what happens it's really not worth your time so just watch the top three don't bother with the bottom two thanks so much for watching this video though and i will see you next time